Hi, everyone, and welcome back to the Hockey Journey Podcast, episode number 125, The History of CCM Hockey, presented to you by OnlineHockeyTraining.com. I'm your host, Coach Lance Pitlick. If you're new here, please make sure you subscribe so you won't miss out on any future episodes. Before we do a deep dive into the journey of the iconic company CCM and begin this conversation, if you want to learn more about me, my hockey experience says that I have the world's largest database of off-ice stick handling, passing, and hockey shooting drills, what I know, and most importantly, how I've been helping hockey players get really good with a stick and puck, just head on over to OnlineHockeyTraining.com, that's OnlineHockeyTraining.com, and gain instant access to my 10-part video series where I'll show you everything. Consider it my gift to you. Lastly, if you live in Minnesota or are visiting the state of hockey sometime soon and want to schedule an in-person off-ice stick skills lesson, I'd love to have the opportunity to show you my little world. Go to SweetHockeyCoach.com, that's SweetHockeyCoach.com, and watch the video on the homepage for instructions. Thanks, and I look forward to working with you sometime soon. Back in 2015-ish, I believe, I can't remember the exact year, but I was contacted by someone from CCM. They were wanting to develop an app for players, teaching them how to get better with a stick and puck. To my surprise, they wanted me to be the instructor and wanted to use a portion of my online hockey training system to populate the application. Once we finalized the agreement, I started to go back and forth from Minnesota to Montreal a number of times over the course of two years, filming all the drills that would make up the program. After about a year, the app was launched. How much do you think the company invested in developing this skills app? What do you think? 50000 100000 250000 Nope, not even close. I was told that they had spent close to $450,000 on it. And don't think I had a nice payday out of that amount because I didn't receive any payment for my time with them. The deal I made with them was hinging on it becoming a paid app at some point in year two. Well, in 2017, the Adidas Group, who owned the CCM hockey brand at the time, sold the company for $100 million. The new owners took over and did a full audit of the company, and I was told that whatever wasn't making the company money, they eliminated it. The app was out for about a year and change, and then it just disappeared, and my time with this iconic hockey company came to an end. Was I bitter when I found out? Not at all. It was an awesome learning experience, and they treated me like a rock star when I was out there. They put me up in a nice hotel. I could order whatever I wanted and just had to charge it to my room. Being a small business owner, what I did witness, however, is that you can do so much so fast when money isn't an issue. I was kind of sad when it was finally over, but it was a good run, and I'm still grateful for the opportunity I had with them. One of the things I did before I ever went out to Montreal for the first time to start filming the program was to learn the history of the company so when I was talking with people within the company, I had some general knowledge of their journey. Much to my surprise, there's a story that dates back to the late 1800s and that's what I'd like to share with you here today. So without further ado, here's the history of CCM. Everything I'll be sharing with you comes from the CCM Bicycle Company and CCM Ice Hockey Wikipedia pages. Let's begin. CCM, the Bicycle Company. CCM is a Canadian bicycle brand owned by Canadian Tire. The brand was first used by Canadian Cycle and Motor Company, LTD, founded in Western Ontario in 1899. CCM dominated the Canadian bike market for much of the 20th century before becoming bankrupt in 1983. The CCM trademark was then acquired by ProCycle Group, while the company's hockey assets were sold off. History The formation of CCM came at the same time as an American bicycle industry consolidation. The American Bicycle Company was formed by 42 manufacturers and soon afterwards announced plans to open up a branch plant in Canada called the National Cycle Company. CCM was established upon the amalgamation of the operations of four major Canadian bicycle manufacturers, H.A. Lauser, Massey Harris, Gould, and Welland Vale Manufacturing. The company then accounted for 85% of the Canadian cycle production. 
Around 1899, many smaller bicycle makers went out of business and CCM soon became Canada's industry leader. Russell Motor Car Company In 1903, weakness in the bicycle market prompted CCM to acquire the assets of Canadian Motors LTD, a failed automotive producer. Tommy Russell, CCM's new general manager, saw an opportunity to diversify his company's product line. In 1904, anticipating the growth market of motor cars, CCM established the Russell Motor Car Company in Toronto. CCM, Weston Factory In 1895, H.A. Lauser & Company opened a bicycle manufacturing plant on St. Clair Avenue in the town of Toronto Junction, as the town was then officially called. Massey Harris and Gendron Bicycles also moved some bike manufacturing to the junction in the H.A. Lauser factory. Montreal, Winnipeg, and Vancouver were originally part of a diversified network of CCM manufacturing processes. By 1917, CCM's bicycle manufacturing operations had moved into a larger factory on Lawrence Avenue West, east of what is now called Weston Road in Weston, Ontario where manufacturing continued until 1980. From 1939 to 1945, during the Second World War, CCM's Cycles manufacturing facilities were taken over by the Canadian government and declared an essential war service. Two simple, one-speed bicycles were manufactured and then shipped in wooden packing crates to the Canadian Army. They produced motor cars, which have allegedly been used as light military vehicles. Due to a rubber shortage in 1942, the pedals of CCM Rambler bicycles had wooden blocks. According to World War II veterans, the Rambler was popular with U.S. and British Armed Forces as well as Canadians. By the late 1970s, the company was experiencing yearly losses and had to rely on the government for loans to keep itself solvent. A change of ownership failed to improve matters and the company declared bankruptcy in January 1983. Today, the site of the former CCM factory in Weston is the location of a Tim Hortons coffee shop. The community continues to honor CCM with bicycle-themed lampposts. ProCycle Group, Inc. Shortly after CCM declared bankruptcy in 1983, all of the assets of the company were purchased by ProCycle Group Inc. of Quebec, who retained the bicycle division and sold off the hockey division to Montreal businessman David Zunenschein. ProCycle has acquired rights to a number of cycling brands for use on various lines of bicycles. At some point, ProCycle renamed CCM to CCM Cycle to better differentiate the brand from the separate CCM hockey business. In 1999, the CCM brand turned 100 years old. After a 101-year history, over 10 million bikes had been manufactured in Canada bearing the CCM name. As of 2004, ProCycle was the largest bicycle manufacturer in Canada, building 200,000 CCM-branded bikes per year across Canada and the U.S. The CCM Cycle website remained online until February 2008, then displayed an under construction message until the end of May 2008 when it went offline. In an industry Canada company directory profile updated in February 2010, ProCycle lists only two bicycle brands and divisions, Meal and Rocky Mountain, as a reflection of the ProCycle website. Canadian Tire has since acquired the rights to the brand. Models CCM manufactured a wide variety of bicycles. The CCM Motor Bicycle was manufactured between 1910 and 1911. Only three are known to exist. Double or twin bar bicycles were produced from around 1917 to 1962. In 1922, the company introduced the Joy Cycle, a new three-wheeler. Around 1932, CCM introduced the Light Delivery Bicycle, a cargo bike with a stronger frame made of heavier gauge tubing and a basket. Previously, bicycles had been used as commercial vehicles, either in a tricycle configuration or as modified touring tricycles. In the late 1940s, a pixie bicycle motor was installed to assist with heavy loads and climbing hills. 
one Ottawa greengrocer was seen using one of these delivery bikes from the 1930s until the early 1960s. CCM introduced the aviation-inspired flight designed by Harvey W. Peace in 1936 and sold it till 1940. The flight advertising poster described a frame of aeroplane seamless steel tubing, a CCM triplex hanger crank set, a CCM Hercules coaster brake, Dunlop Fort tires, and other high-grade equipment. Most CCM bikes were simple mass-market bicycles. According to an old CCM cycle website, the CCM Mustang Marauder was the popular children's wheelie bike similar to the Schwinn Stingray or Raleigh Chopper. The CCM Scamp was another children's model. During the 1970s, the company produced the popular and inexpensive CCM Targo road bike, as well as higher-end road bikes, including the Silver Ghost and the Campagnolo, equipped custom-built Tour de Canada. City and touring models included the Calco, Capri, Centennial, Concord, Elan, Elite, Encore, Galaxy, Grand Sport, Imperial, Sunspot, and Targo. The CCM Ranger reassembled the CCM Rambler, but with 26-inch wheels. That wraps up the CCM Bicycle Company Wikipedia page. Pretty cool history. Now, let's transition to the CCM Ice Hockey Wikipedia page. CCM Ice Hockey CCM Hockey is a Canadian manufacturer of ice hockey equipment. CCM was formerly an initialism for Canadian Cycle and Motor Company LTD, a bicycle manufacturer that began producing hockey equipment as a secondary business. The original company went bankrupt in 1983, though both product lines were continued under new, separate ownership. The CCM trademark continues to be used by two separate entities, CCM Hockey, formerly the Hockey Company, manufacturing hockey equipment, and CCM Cycle, manufacturing bicycles. CCM is currently owned by Canadian private equity firm Birch Hill Equity Partners after the Adidas Group sold the brand for around $100 million in 2017. As of June 2021, the newly appointed CEO by Birch Hill Equity Partners is Metal One Nabi. Sorry if I beat that name up a little bit. Since then, the company has gone through major changes and restructuring within the senior management group. CCM's range for products for hockey includes sticks, skates, helmets, shoulder pads, elbow pads, goaltender masks, goaltender pads, goaltender gloves, knee pads, throat collars, and team uniforms for the American Hockey League. History CCM was founded in 1899 after the collapse of the bicycle market. Established when the operations of four major Canadian bicycle manufacturers, Almagated, H.A. Lowers, Messy and Harris, Gould, and Welland Vale Manufacturing. CCM produced bicycles for many years in the area of Western Toronto, Ontario. They also briefly produced the Russell Automobile. By 1905, with saturation in the bicycle market, CCM began producing hockey skates using scrap steel that was left over at the plant from the manufacture of bicycles and automobiles and subsequently began manufacturing other hockey gear. In 1937, CCM acquired the Tackleberry brand, made by a Manitobian named George Tackleberry, and Tax remained the company's signature skate until late 2006, when the Tax line was replaced with the Vector line, then the U-plus line, then the RBZ line, now the Jet Speed line. The Tax line was later reintroduced in 2014. The original CCM went bankrupt in 1983. All of the assets of the company were purchased by ProCycle Group Inc. of Quebec, who retained the bicycle division and sold off the hockey division to Montreal businessman David Zunenschein, who owned GC Knitting, a manufacturer of hockey jerseys. The company subsequently used the CCM brand when producing hockey equipment. The company entered the toy industry in 1988 through the acquisition of Colco Industries and in 1990, when they acquired another financially troubled company, Buddy Elcorp, 
a 70-year-old manufacturer of steel and plastic toy cars and trucks based in the United States. In 1991, the company incorporated and took the name of SLM International Inc. SLM purchased Kevin Sports Toys International Inc., the maker of the Wayne Gretzky NHL hockey game, Norca Industries Inc., a plastic toy manufacturer of such products as swimming pools, sleds, and sandboxes, and Innova Dex Sports Inc. of Montreal, a bicycle helmet manufacturer. SLM filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection in 1995, selling off Buddy L and the SLM fitness equipment business. The company emerged from bankruptcy protection in 1997 and reorganized. The company acquired Montreal-based Sports Holdings, Inc. in 1998 and became the world's top producer of hockey merchandise, adding the brands Coho, Titan, Jofa, Canadian, and Heaton. Titan and Canadian were well-known brands of wooden hockey sticks in the 1980s and 1990s, with Wayne Gretzky having used the Titan 2020 while playing with the Edmonton Oilers. Heaton was known for its goaltending equipment, which was used for years by Martin Brodeur, as well as many other NHL goaltenders. In 1999, SLM was renamed The Hockey Company. In June 2004, The Hockey Company was bought by Reebok. All brands other than the CCM brand were retired and Reebok introduced its own RBK hockey gear, later to be rebranded as Reebok Hockey. Reebok, in turn, was acquired by Adidas in 2005. In the fall of 2013, the hockey company created a new goaltending equipment line under the CCM brand name. Beginning in 2015, the hockey company began phasing out the Reebok name from their hockey equipment lines by creating equivalent or similar product lines under the CCM name. CCM now is the only brand name used by the company on its hockey equipment. In 2017, Adidas sold CCM to a Canadian private equity firm, Birch Hill Equity Partners, for around $100 million. In 2018, CCM hired a new CEO, Rick Blackshaw. Blackshaw told the media that we have some nice momentum. We're seeking to make investment in product and product innovation and the brand. As of June 2021, the newly appointed CEO by Birch Hill Equity Partners is Melwan Nabi. Products and Marketing CCM manufactures a wide range of ice hockey equipment at all price points from recreational to professional. One major rival is Bauer Hockey. CCM is one of the official licensees, sponsors, and on-ice suppliers of hockey equipment for the National Hockey League, the NHL, until 2014. CCM has changed its logo multiple times but use all three. NHL player George Parsons was forced to retire due to a career-ending eye injury in 1939. He then became involved with CCM Hockey, helping to develop helmets and facial protection, which would be safer for players. By early 1976, CCM had developed a hockey helmet complete with eye and face shield and lower face protector that was both approved by the Canadian Standards Association and endorsed by the Canadian Amateur Hockey Association. Main endorsers of CCM Players Gear include Sidney Crosby, Alex Ovechkin, Patrice Bergeron, Nathan McKinnon, and Connor McDavid. In recent decades, CCM has been one of the most used goalie pads in the NHL. This popularity was in part due to CCM's partnership with Quebec-based goalie equipment company, EGB, a family business that began making hockey equipment in the 1970s. Some notable goalies that used CCM were Marc-Andre Fleury and Carey Price. During 2020, CCM and EBG decided to end their partnership. Today, CCM offers the Extreme Flex, Axis, and the Youth YT Flex Goalie products. Well, there you have it. As we wrap up today's episode, it's fascinating to see how CCM, whether on the ice or the open road, has left an indelible mark in both the world of ice hockey and cycling. From the high-speed intensity of hockey rinks to the leisurely pedaling power journeys, CCM has become synonymous with excellence, innovation, and a commitment to pushing boundaries. 
Just like the precision required in a hockey game, CCM's contributions to the bicycle industry showcase a dedication to craftsmanship and quality. Whether you're chasing the puck on the ice or chasing the thrill of adventure on two wheels, CCM has played a pivotal role in shaping these experiences. As we navigate the intersections of sports and recreation, it's clear that CCM is not just a brand, it's a symbol of passion, resilience, and the pursuit of excellence. Well, that concludes another episode of the Hockey Journey Podcast. I can't thank you enough for stopping by and listening. I hope you enjoyed hearing about CCM's company journey. If you did, and you think there's someone in your circle of family and friends that might like this episode as well, I'd appreciate it if you could please share it with just one person. It will really help me in growing this hockey community. Again, I appreciate you being here. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, or submit a review. I hope to see you back here soon, and do me a favor, make someone close to you smile today. All the best, my friends.